Hello friends, welcome back. This is Cool IT Help, and today in this video, we will see about the open source library which can be used for the better styling in Java FX application. So JPhoenix is freely available on GIT Hub. We just need to download the jar file and we have to add this into the scene builder. Then we can start the development with the JPhoenix. So I will show you each step one by one. So first we need to download the jar file from the G GIT Hub. So just copy this URL and go to your favorite browser and paste it here and you will see this page will open and just scroll down and at this place you can see that the first link javafx material design download dot download jar once you click it will download the jphoenix.jar and you will see here this file is already downloaded on my mac so I will use it. Now come back to the notepad. Here the second thing we need to download which is scene builder. We are going to download the scene builder from the glow on website which is different from the oracles scene builder. If you are going to use the oracles scene builder 2.0 for the gphoenix then it will not work properly with all components of gphoenix. So, I will download the scene builder from the glue on website so come to the browser now here on the search just type glue on scene builder click on it and you will see very first link now open it okay now here is the glue on website home page and this the download page is here and this is the download link okay now in the bottom section just scroll down and we will choose for the java 8 because uh, in this machine java 8 is installed so we will choose the installer according to that and under this we have many downloads according to the platform we need to choose the download package so here's the scene builder and we are using mac os so we need to download this if you are working with the windows machine so you can choose 32 bit installer or you can choose 64 bit installer accordingly so i will download it mac os x dmg okay it's downloading this DMG is about 74.4 MB, so it will take 10 to 15 minutes download. It's going to complete. Now the downloading is completed. Now go, go to the download folder and here's the DMG file, just click on it and it will prompt you the it's a small window and this is the license agreement just go through it and click on the agree button now here's a scene builder and now you have to click on it so it will launch the application and right now it is showing me some warning that this is not from a trusted developer so Click on open. Now is the glue on scene builder home page is open. So we will close it. So no use. Okay. Now the next step is we have to integrate j phoenix component into scene builder so just follow the steps and you can see that the small wheel of the settings once you click on it uh, 
go to this option jar slash effect symbol manager you can see here the jfelix dot jar is already added now close it okay if it is not there so you have to add in the same way like this by using this option manually add library from repository and second option is add library effects in the, from the file system so we have already added this now i will show you some example of the jphoenix components so first we need an anchor pen here okay now so first we'll start with button so here is the jfx button which is from jphoenix let me paste you one more item so you will see the difference and these are the radio buttons and this is the toggle button and there's a one more this is color picker so in case we have to choose any color in our application somewhere so we can use a color picker and we have a date picker very styling date picker so i am placing it all these components here okay now i will show you the preview so go to this menu bar and click on this preview and choose the first option show preview in window once you click it will prompt you the window now you can see that all components well, let me click on this button you can see that this is very styling okay now choose the radio button so already the style CSS style is applied on this radio button so it looks pretty much awesome and this is toggle button you can see that once it is off so it is in gray color once you will on it becomes green color and now come to this color selector now you see that color chooser you can choose any one of color and it will show the that means it will show you the hexadecimal code in this place you can choose any one of the color this is the best color picker we have ever seen you can see that this is really awesome this is rgb hsb and hexadecimal so we have all kind of variety you can choose this is a very awesome way of choosing the color you can see that this is a hexadecimal color is appearing here now you can convert it to the rgb so the equivalent rgb is showing here so there is uh, no need to worry about that you can take rgb color or you can take the hexadecimal color code so it's very easy and pretty much awesome now come to this date picker we will see the functionality of this you can see that it's very good combination of green and white color and this is date picker so jphoenix have done a very good job they have applied all the very fine css on the components so you can directly use in your java fx application so to do this we have to create the fxml similar we have done and then you will add this fx similar to your project and then you can use it it's really awesome that's all guys i hope you enjoyed this video so please like and subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon for new video updates thanks for watching